Dear Hyrie, starring Shin Hai Sun and Lee Jin Wook, has captivated audiences worldwide with its fresh and engaging storyline, gaining impressive momentum as it enters the second half of its 12 episode run. The drama recently achieved a new milestone in ratings, underscoring its growing popularity. On October 9, 2024, Nielsen Korea reported that the show hit its highest ratings to date, following the conclusion of its first half. Episode 6, which aired on October 8, secured a nationwide rating of 3.5% in South Korea, a significant accomplishment that reflects the show's strong reception and its deepening connection with viewers. As it enters its second half, the anticipation surrounding Dear Hyery continues to build. Thanks to the intriguing narrative and exceptional performances by the cast, at the heart of Dear Hyeri is the character of Ju Eun Ho, portrayed by Shin Hai Sunday Eun Ho is a news anchor who faces immense professional and personal challenges, leading to a life of internal turmoil. Her struggles at work are evident, her colleagues do not respect her, and she feels isolated in her professional environment. However, her life takes an even darker turn when her sibling goes missing, a tragedy that deeply scars her emotionally. As if that were not enough, she also endures the heartache of a painful breakup with her longtime boyfriend, Yong Hyun Oh, played by Lee Jin Wook. These events culminate in her developing dissociative identity disorder, DID. A psychological condition that manifests as the emergence of an alternate personality named Ju Hai Ri, the introduction of Ju Hai Ri, a happier, more carefree version of Ju Eun Ho, is one of the central elements that adds complexity to the plot. While Ju Eun Ho grapples with her career struggles, emotional trauma, and sense of loss, Ju Hai Ri represents a version of herself that embraces life with more optimism and joy. This duality in her character offers a unique exploration of identity and the coping mechanisms people employ when faced with overwhelming adversity. Ju Hai Ri's emergence sets the stage for romantic entanglements that complicate Ju Eun Ho's already difficult life. Particularly when Hai Ri begins to fall for another news anchor, Kong Ju Yan, portrayed by Kong Hoon. The love triangle between Ju Eun Ho, Ju Hai Ri, and Kong Ju Yan adds another layer of tension to the drama, keeping viewers engaged as the relationships unfold and the complexities of human emotions are laid bare. The juxtaposition between Ju Eun Ho's personal suffering and Ju Hai Ri's lighter, more vibrant personality makes for an emotionally charged narrative. Through her dual roles, Shin Hai Sun masterfully portrays the inner turmoil of a woman divided between two aspects of herself, one steeped in pain and hardship, the other embodying hope and happiness. The audience is drawn into Eun Ho's journey of self-discovery as she navigates her dissociative identity disorder and strives to reconcile the different parts of her psyche. The show thoughtfully examines how people cope with trauma, loss, and emotional wounds, offering viewers a compelling portrayal of psychological healing and personal transformation. Shin Hai Sun's portrayal of both Ju Eun Ho and Ju Hai Ri has been widely praised for its depth and nuance. Known for taking on versatile and challenging roles, Shin has built a reputation as a talented and fearless actress. Her previous work in popular dramas such as She Was Pretty and Oh My Ghost showcased her range, but her performance in Dear Hyrie takes her craft to a new level. Playing two distinct characters within the same show requires immense skill, and Shin has delivered a captivating performance that keeps viewers emotionally invested in the story. The subtle differences she brings to each persona, Eun Ho's vulnerability, and Hai Ri's exuberance, highlight her acting prowess and make the drama all the more compelling. Lee Jin Wook's portrayal of Yong Hyun Oh, Ju Eun Ho's former boyfriend, adds another dimension to the narrative. As Eun Ho's longtime partner, Yong Hyun Oh represents a pivotal figure in her life, one whose departure leaves her emotionally shattered. His character serves as both a source of pain and a lingering connection to Eun Ho's past, fueling much of the tension in the drama. Lee Jin Wook brings a quiet intensity to the role, making Hyun Oh a character who is both sympathetic and complex. His chemistry with Shin Hai Sun is undeniable. And their scenes together have a raw emotional depth that has been highlighted as one of the key factors in the drama's success. One of the reasons Dear Hyery has resonated with audiences is its thoughtful handling of mental health themes, particularly dissociative identity disorder. Did, often misunderstood or sensationalized in media is treated with sensitivity in the drama, offering viewers a more nuanced understanding of the condition. The show explores the psychological impact of trauma, the ways in which individuals create alternate identities to protect themselves, and the difficult process of integrating those identities into a cohesive self. Through Ju Eun Ho's struggles, Dear Hyeri emphasizes the importance of self-acceptance and healing, themes that resonate deeply with viewers who may have experienced their own emotional battles, in addition to its psychological depth, 
Dear Hyeri also excels in its depiction of workplace dynamics and romantic entanglements. The blend of romance, comedy, and drama creates a well-rounded viewing experience, appealing to a broad audience. The relationships in the series are not straightforward but are marked by complexity and emotional conflict, which makes the characters feel more authentic and relatable. As Ju Eun Ho navigates her complicated feelings for Yoon Hyun Oh while also dealing with Ju Hai Ri's attraction to Kong Ju Yen, viewers are drawn into the tangled web of emotions that drive the narrative forward. The drama's direction and writing have also been praised for their ability to maintain a balance between emotional intensity and lighter moments of humor and romance. The pacing of the series, particularly in the first half, has kept viewers on the edge of their seats, and as the show heads into its second half, the stakes are expected to rise even further. With only six episodes left, fans are eager to see how the story will resolve and whether Ju Eun Ho will ultimately find peace within herself. Dear Hyeri has quickly become a must-watch for fans of romance, psychological drama, and character-driven narratives. Its impressive ratings are a testament to the strong connection it has forged with its audience. The innovative use of dissociative identity disorder as a plot device, coupled with the emotional depth of its characters, sets Dear Hyeri apart from other dramas in its genre. The exploration of identity, trauma, and healing gives the show a level of substance that resonates on a personal level with viewers. As the drama continues to unfold, it is clear that Dear Hyeri has cemented itself as one of the standout series of 2024, and its second half promises to deliver even more emotional highs and dramatic turns. Shin Hai Sun and Lee Jin Wook are two of South Korea's most talented and well respected actors. Both known for their versatile roles and profound performances in television and film. Their careers have spanned various genres, from romance to thriller, and they have left an indelible mark on the South Korean entertainment industry through their dedication to the craft and ability to portray emotionally complex characters. Shin Hai Sun, born on August 31, 1989, in Seoul, South Korea, started her acting journey with humble beginnings. She made her debut in the teen drama school 2013, where she had a minor role, but it was enough to showcase her potential as an actress. Shin's early career was defined by smaller roles, but she continued to refine her skills and build her portfolio. Her breakout role came in 2017 when she starred in the critically acclaimed drama My Golden Life. The series was a massive hit, and Shin's portrayal of a woman who faces emotional turmoil and family struggles was widely praised, marking her as one of the rising stars of South Korean television. Lee Jin Wook, born on September 16, 1981, in Cheonju, South Korea, is another actor whose journey to stardom has been marked by hard work and perseverance. He initially pursued a degree in environmental engineering but decided to follow his passion for acting instead. He made his acting debut in 2004 with a role in Resurrection, but it was his appearance in Someday, 2006, that garnered him more attention. However, it wasn't until his role in Nine, Nine Time Travels, 2013, that Lee gained widespread recognition. His portrayal of a man who travels back in time to solve the mystery of his brother's death was both compelling and emotionally charged, earning him critical acclaim and a loyal fanbase.